Is the Brix common currency feasible? The Brix common currency is considered to be completely capable of shaking the solid position of the USD in international trade. Brix is a group of emerging economies including Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Recently, the bloc expanded by adding Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, UAE. Brix common currency challenges the USD. According to Foreign Policy magazine, unlike past currencies, the Brix currency is completely capable of shaking the position of the USD in international trade. With a trade surplus of up to hundreds of billions of USD, the Brix countries themselves can meet almost all of each other's import needs. In essence, Brix is a group of countries from all over the world. The diversity of geographical locations makes the export portfolio of goods of the member countries in the group very different and complement each other well. This is a big contrast to any previous common currency, typically the euro of the European Union, EU. The EU is a collection of countries that share a common border, leading to similar geographical conditions and less compensability in the production portfolio between countries than the BRICS. The huge trade potential between the BRICS countries opens up a huge space for the common currency of this group. Moreover, this potential is not limited to the current nine member countries. Each BRICS member is an economic locomotive in its geographical area, and can completely attract neighboring countries to use the group's common currency. However, establishing a common currency is not simple. Like the Euro and the European Central Bank, a BRICS common currency also requires a multinational central bank. The process of establishing such a bank is extremely complicated and time-consuming, but it is not impossible. Geopolitical issues among some BRICS member countries are also something to consider. Border tensions between India and China have been simmering for decades, while Egypt and Ethiopia also have many strategic conflicts of interest related to the Nile River water resources. However, the economic benefits Brike Springs can once again help countries overcome the above barriers to create a common currency area. Most experts believe that even if the Brike's common currency is widely accepted by countries, the US dollar's number one position in international trade will remain almost unshaken. The US is still the world's leading economy and the prestige and sustainability of the US dollar in international trade have been proven and perfected for decades. However, if successful, the BRICS common currency can still completely change the international trade landscape by transforming the global monetary order from unipolar to multipolar, a leap forward in the process of de-dollarization. Is the US dollar about to be dethroned? Data from the Atlantic Council has shown that the share of the USD in global reserves has declined significantly since the beginning of the 21st century causing many experts to question the future of the USD in the international financial system. According to the Atlantic Council's USD Dominance Monitor report, the share of the USD in global foreign exchange reserves has fallen from 72% in 2002 to 58% in 2024. This is a significant decline, reflecting the increasingly widespread trend of de-dollarization around the world. The decline is caused by many factors, most notably the global financial crisis of 2007 to 2008, which shook confidence in the USD as an absolute safe haven asset. Despite this, the USD still maintains an important role in global trade transactions and foreign exchange reserves. In the report, the researchers stated, the US dollar continues to dominate foreign exchange reserves, trade invoices, and currency transactions globally. However, they also acknowledged that the trend of de-dollarization has increased significantly, especially since the Russia-Ukraine conflict, when many countries began to seek to reduce their dependence on the US dollar due to concerns about financial sanctions from the G7. Among the factors putting pressure on the US dollar's position, the development of BRICS is the most prominent. BRICS is not only an economic alliance, but also a group of countries that are trying to build an alternative financial system to reduce their dependence on the US dollar. In the past two years, BRICS members have actively promoted the use of national currencies in trade and transactions. In particular, 
China has expanded the CIPS, cross-border interbank payment system, payment system, facilitating transactions that do not need to rely on SWIFT or the US dollar. The Atlantic Council believes that the rise of BRICS is a potential challenge to the status of the US dollar, with China's UN having the greatest potential to compete with the US dollar as a trade and reserve currency. Although the BRICS intra-regional payment system is still in its early stages, progress in G bilateral and multilateral agreements among BRICS members, especially in the areas of central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, and currency swaps, are laying the foundations for an alternative financial system in the future. However, the development of the UN is not without challenges. Recently, economic difficulties in China, including the collapse of the real estate market, have weakened the position of the UN in global foreign exchange reserves. The UN's share has fallen from a peak of 2.8% in 2022 to 2.3% in the last quarter of 2023, a sign that the UN is not yet able to replace the USD in the short term, despite Beijing's efforts to promote its use internationally. In addition, as other currencies struggle to compete with the USD, a traditional commodity has returned to the center of central banks' reserve strategies, gold. Since 2018, BRICS members have increased their gold purchases at a faster pace than the rest of the world. This shows a shift from foreign currencies to gold as a hedge against risks amid global geopolitical and economic uncertainty. According to a report by the Atlantic Council, the share of gold in international reserve portfolios has increased from around 10% in 2019 to nearly 16% today. Central banks now hold a total of more than 35,000 tons of gold, accounting for nearly 20% of the total gold ever mined in the world. This reflects not only the need to increase protection against geopolitical risks but also a strategy to reduce dependence on the USD. Researchers also point out that gold offers many benefits in the current economic and political context. Gold is not only a safe haven asset, not subject to credit risk, but also a hedge against inflation and fluctuations in the value of the USD. The increase in gold reserves by central banks has created a new trend in the international monetary system, as countries seek to diversify their reserve portfolios to reduce risks from economic and political shocks. BRICS member countries increase gold reserves. BRICS member countries increase gold reserves. According to experts, although BRICS and gold are emerging as challenges to the dominance of the USD, many experts believe that the USD will continue to maintain its position in the short and medium term. The Atlantic Council stressed that, the role of the US dollar as the main global reserve currency remains secure in the short to medium term. This is reinforced by the fact that the US dollar still accounts for the majority of foreign exchange reserves, trade invoices, and currency transactions globally. At the same time, the US dollar also plays an important role in international debt markets and the global banking system, with about 45% of cross-border banking claims denominated in US dollars. The central role of the US dollar in international financial networks is not only a reflection of the strength of the US economy, but also a result of global dependence on this currency as a medium of exchange and unit of account. However, the gradual decline of the US dollar in the share of foreign exchange reserves has increased interest in non-traditional currencies and gold. Both the IMF and the Atlantic Council reports recognize that the international monetary and reserve system is undergoing a transition, with the rising role of non-traditional currencies such as the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, and Korean one, as well as increased demand for gold by central banks.